Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, a lot of you have requested on my past couple videos if I could do my just kind of like everyday makeup, so that's what I'm doing. And so this isn't like too much or too little. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I am in my bathroom, so if it is a little echoey, that's why. And also, yeah, the washer is going, the washing machine. So if you can hear like a little mumble, that's why. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a setup and hopefully this works. If not, I might like change it halfway throughout the video. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I'm going to be recording the video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you guys are interested in makeup videos because I'm not sure what you guys want. So yeah, let me know. So this is how I'm going to be recording the video through a mirror. Hi, so um, hopefully this works and if you guys can't really see what I'm doing, I will kind of set something else up, but we'll see how this goes. So first I'm going to be putting my hair up in a headband, um, because that way I have just no hair in my face, and I would put in my contacts and spray my face with this, but I've already done that. Um, this is the MAC Fix Plus Brume Fix Stomp Day. Um, this is just the Skim Refresher Finishing Mist. I use this as like a primer kind of. So I will just spray this all over my face and put my contacts, but I've already done that for you. Wow, the dishwasher? Dishwasher, yep. The washing machine is getting really loud, but I think it's almost over, so sorry about that. So first I'm going to be taking my Professional by Benefit. This is a actual makeup primer, and I really like this because it leaves your face feeling matte. And I just kind of dab it on my skin and rub it in. Next I'll be taking the Cream Concealer by Cover FX in number NX Light because I'm pale. And I'm going to be putting this on any acne or problem spots on my face, which I have some more on this um, side of my face, don't know why. Um, and I just use my finger to blend it in just because I feel it's a little bit easier and when I put powder on top it usually blends anyways. So I just get a little bit on my finger, dab it on any of the acne spots that I have, and um, then I just blend it in. This method just kind of gives a light coverage. If you want it thicker, you could use a brush, but since I'm, I'm not, lately I haven't been using too thick of a makeup. Um, I usually use medium to light coverage, so I don't really care if it doesn't completely cover the acne. Lately I have been not using a liquid foundation, so I'll be taking my Bare Minerals Original Powder in Light 15, W15. Um, this is a little too tan for me, but um, I usually blend it in and it turns out okay. But this is a little too dark for my skin, so I would recommend getting one that actually matches your skin color. But I just tap it in the lid and get quite a bit of product. And then I'm taking my Sephora brush. Um, this is the Mineral Powder 45, and I will just buffer this all over my skin. And make sure to blend into your hairline and on your neckline because you do want, especially for me since the color is a little darker, you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. You want it to be a flawless and consistent finish. So you can even go down to your neck, but you really want to blend out. You don't want to just have like a circle on your face. Now I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And this is my highlight, and I'm just taking a sample Bare Minerals brush, and I'm just putting that on the highlights of my cheekbone. I also put it down the center of my nose, and yeah, just to kind of have the light reflect. I don't know, it's really pretty. Now this is usually where I decide if I want to wear uh, eyeshadow or not, but for the sake of you guys, I am going to. This eyeshadow primer by Too Faced, um, it's called the Shadow Insurance, and it's in the color Champagne. It Sorry, I think I'm just focused now. But it has just a light shimmer and it's such a beautiful color and you don't even have to put a shadow on top. It is so pretty. I will show you guys once it's on. But you don't need a lot and I'm just putting this on my lids. So can you see how it has kind of a light shimmer? I don't know, it's really pretty in my opinion. I'm too close to the camera, this is weird. So for the sake of the video, I will be putting on a eyeshadow and this is from the Naked 3 palette 
any of these colors look gorgeous with this eyeshadow, but today I'm going to be using Burnout, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm also going to use my Sephora Small Shadow Brush. I'm sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing, but um, since this isn't like a really detailed makeup tutorial, I thought it'd be okay if you can see every detail, and next time I do one of these, I'll figure out a better setup, I promise. After this step, you can decide if you want to add like a color in the crease or in the inner corner, but usually, I kind of vary, but today I'm not going to, so I'm just going to move straight on to the next step. Now I'm going to be taking my pencil eyeliner um, from Urban Decay, the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion, and I'm going to be tight lining my eye or just putting it on my upper and lower waterline. So, oh, okay there, so that's what the eyeliner looks like. Sorry this is such an awkward setup, but that's what the eyeliner looks like. Now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and putting on my mascara from Foxum, and it is in the color Blackest Black. After the mascara is done, and I do put it on my upper and lower lashes, I'm just going to put on a light lip color. I usually don't put on anything dramatic. And today I'm going to be using the baby lips in like the grape one, the purple one. And because it just gives a little tint of dark, but it's not like intense like actual purple lips. Yes, that is my everyday makeup tutorial, and sometimes I don't include the eyeshadow, or sometimes I'll put on blush or bronzer. It really depends, but that's pretty much what I do every day. So if you guys like these makeup tutorials, let me know because I can continue to do them, but I'll have a different setup because that through the mirror thing was a little strange. So next time I'll definitely do something where you could actually see the details of what I'm doing, but it's okay because this tutorial wasn't that detailed. Anyways. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I know a lot of you requested this, so hopefully that was good. And I know some of the videos that I um, recorded that you guys wanted to see, I did put on like a liquid um, foundation and like a blush and stuff, so I can always do a more detailed like date night look, or a more intense look, or a smoky eye, or I can do all sorts of things, so just let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!